2023 GWM Hoval H6 Ultra Hybrid Review. It took a while for Toyota to finally bring its hybrid RAV4 to Australia, waiting a whole generation to introduce a powertrain that has quickly become the most popular in the lineup. With the RAV4 hybrid selling up a storm and waiting times blowing out to up to two years, there's clearly demand for a mid-sized hybrid SUV. GWM, Nissan and Subaru have responded in kind, while Honda has a pair of hybrid mid-sizes in the pipeline and Hyundai is expected to finally bring a hybrid Tucson here next year. The segment has therefore gone from barren to booming in a short space of time, with the GWM Hoval H6 carving out a niche as one of the more affordable models. That's despite GWM offering it exclusively in one fully loaded trim. Does it make sense to stick with a base model SUV from the established hybrid leader, or take a chance on a vehicle from a younger Chinese brand that's loaded with all the fruit? How much does the GWM Hoval H6 Ultra Hybrid cost? The hybrid is available only in top-spec ultra trim, priced at $45,990 drive away, a steep $6,000 more than a front-wheel drive, petrol-powered H6 Ultra. In terms of presentation, the H6 scores highly. It has serious showroom appeal, from the slick-looking screens to the minimalist dashboard and neat ambient lighting that bleeds through the dashboard. Material quality is also generally good, with soft-touch trim used on the dashboard and doors. It can also be found on the sides of the center console, if not near where your knee may rest. There are some cheap touches in the interior, however. The steering wheel feels thin and has a hole at the rear with an uncovered screw, something GWM could easily fix. We also noticed a creaky sound when winding down a window, though there were no other rattles or other build quality issues present in the H6. The most bothersome part of the interior is the infotainment system. That neat. Minimalist dashboard design has been achieved by removing a lot of the physical switch gear, leaving you to go burrowing through touchscreen menus to control functions like turning on the ventilated seats or changing the drive mode. The lack of native voice prompts also prevents you from easily adjusting settings. You can customize a pull-down menu with your preferred shortcuts, but for some reason it wouldn't let us add some key features like ventilated front seat controls. This leaves you hunting through menus to activate or deactivate features that in most cars, you'd press a single physical button for. The handy pull-down menu also doesn't appear when you're using smartphone mirroring. You'll want to have your phone connected, as the Hoval H6 doesn't have factory satellite navigation. Handily, however, turn-by-turn directions from Google Maps appear in the head-up display. There are no physical controls for the climate control, again forcing you to rely on the touchscreen, while the system can lag when you're swiping between screens. Its infotainment is as frustrating as in the petrol model, its ride and handling are just as floaty, and it does feel like a lot of grunt in a front-drive SUV on Eco tires. That $6,000 premium over the thirstier petrol model is also a tough ask. GWM also offers 5 years of capped price servicing. The first service is due at 12 months or 10,000 kilometers and costs $225, with subsequent services at 15,000 kilometers intervals. They're priced at $250, $400, $550 and $225. That works out to a total servicing cost of $1,650 over 5 years, well under the Forester Hybrid L. $2,963.61, $2,963.61, but slightly pricier than a raw four, $1,300. Car experts take on the GWM Haval H6 Ultra Hybrid. The GWM Haval H6 Ultra Hybrid makes a compelling case for itself. But when you consider the fact you can get this fully loaded H6 Hybrid for roughly the price of a base raw four hybrid, it starts to make a little more sense. The occasional rumbly sound does intrude on the EV mode serenity, but this is otherwise a responsive powertrain that in some respects is more pleasant than that of the Toyotas. As with the regular H6, there's also a spacious interior that feels quite solid overall. GWM may have been increasing its prices lately, who hasn't? But the H6 Ultra Hybrid still offers impressive value for money. 2023 GWM Haval H6 Ultra Hybrid